Hellbound, yeah. So, when it came to Hellbound, you understand what I'm saying? I mean, like, you gotta, I, I know they got the little documentary going on, talk about all this little bullshit, street shit, and the streets, and the, that's that bullshit how they just, you know what I mean, frame hood niggas, bro. But, um, yo, these niggas was, like, Killing the mixtapes back in the days, bro. They they was on the uh, 1200 Assassin mixtapes, you know what I'm saying? And, I mean, like, Hellbound was killing all the tracks. I mean, like, they was far, like, way ahead of the game when it came down to music. They had the harmony. They had lyrics. They had, like, the content. So... You know what I know? They about to talk about all this street bullshit. Like, yo, the cribs, to this, to that. You know what I mean? All that shit is whatever it is. But we talking about the music and the real shit that was going on. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, Hellbound at a point was signed with Scream Entertainment. And Scream Entertainment was like, you know, dropping shit on the streets, doing these big parties. Hellbound. Word, cause Hellbound was Hellbound was a big part of the Scream movement. You know what I mean, the Scream Entertainment movement. You know what I'm saying? Cause we all was family anyway, so we just start like doing these big parties, promoting the music. And I can tell y'all, I was down with the Uptown Assassins, bro. We come fuck with Hellbound. <laughs> dead up, we yo, we was dead ass nice too, but yo. You know what I'm saying? When it came down to Hellbound, yo, niggas, them niggas was like super elite. You know what I mean? They need to get them get them freestyles off them 1200 Assassin uh, mixtapes that was dropping back in the days. Them shits was like shaking and shit, but yo. So so when I like see, you know what I'm saying, the all of the negative, fake criminal shit they putting up like that, that shit just like, that shit is like kind of crazy because dudes was out here putting in that work. And if that music would have dropped, you know what I'm saying, back in 2001, 2002, and three, before all this crazy shit start happening, I think the music industry would have been different, bro. I don't. I mean, like, these dudes would have definitely been out there, you know what I mean? Especially with this. You see how shit starting to shake now for the guys, you know? So... You know what I mean? Me being in my situation, I'm still out here and I'm still doing shit, so I already know how this shit gonna go, man. You know what I'm saying? Niggas gonna go up to the top like they supposed to be, you know? 